name is Kelly Ferris. I'm a senior studying broadcast journalism. Um, and so my question is a little bit more related to your career and your experience. What would you say is the biggest difference in covering a presidential campaign versus con covering Congress like you are now? There, there, there's no way to compare them other than you're in often, in some cases, uh, dealing with the same characters. Um, in fact, today's kind of instructive. Uh, I covered Rubio's campaign when it first began, then focused in on Jeb Bush, and then stepped back when Bush was out and covered Rubio's campaign again, and realized that what I was witnessing was what I had just seen over six months with Jeb Bush, the sort of the gradual <laughs> decline. His was much faster, Rubio's was. But was able to get him on the phone today, uh, after not being able to really talk to him that often when he was running for president. Uh, because, you know, he's, he's dealing with some significant home state concerns, hurricanes primarily, mm -hmm. not only in Florida, but in Puerto Rico, which has great uh, bonds with Florida uh, mm. on a lot of things, but especially when it comes to this. And I just thought to myself, like, well, that's, that's one example because, you know, uh, the interests are different there. Obviously, Rubio was trying to become president, and that meant talking more to the Manchester Union leader or the Des Moines Register or Fox News more often than it did talking to the Washington Post, whereas now that he's back in Congress being a con you know, member of the, of, of the Senate, he understands that talking to the Washington Post is more important because all of his colleagues read it, and we help define the congressional debate just as much, if not more, than uh, we also uh, shaped the debate of the presidential race, obviously, but it was a little different, the, the needs there. Look, Congress is here in town. You don't have to sleep in hotels and um, travel across the country to, to see it in action, except maybe during recess. Uh, they're all there. They all want to talk to you. Their people all want to talk to you. And any given day, you could go in seven different directions covering the different things that they're doing or the people that are influencing the debate that day. It's like covering a small city. I mean, you could cover the top line news of the day. You could do profiles of uh, interesting characters. You could work on sort of slice of life stories about the way that that place operates. Uh, or you step back and do general political coverage of, of what they're discussing right now means to the country's politics. Uh, and we get to do that all the time. You also end up covering everything from uh, health care and immigration to foreign affairs to, of course, the Russia investigation because it all comes across their radar screens and therefore comes across yours. Um, covering a campaign is a lot of fun, is a great way to see your country. I saw more, I have seen more states uh, on the dime of the Washington Post than I had uh, with my own family. And it's one of the experiences I'll always cherish and be grateful for the most is that I can probably tick off more states I've been to because of work than because of, of life. I'd love to bring along my family to see some of these places, but uh, the reality is I've seen most of the country on the bankroll of the Washington Post. Uh, it is grueling though, and it is not, increasingly it is such a fast-paced um, beat that it really can burn out people pretty quickly. Uh, we, we, for years, have talked, of course, about the 24-7 news cycle. I argue that it's not 24 hours a day, seven days a week. It's 24 minutes, seven hours a day mm. uh, at this point. And things can change so rapidly. And um, there were moments of sheer panic for a lot of us where you thought you'd dealt with the story of the day and you went to have dinner or take a nap or spend a few minutes in the gym or get in the car and drive the three hours you had to to the next location and then suddenly you looked and you realized that things had fundamentally shifted over the course of mm -hmm. just a few minutes. I don't know if that's sustainable uh, for reporters <laughs> going into future cycles, but uh, that's the reality of it right now. I